Today, we review a movie that was hidden deep inside the bookmarks of my computer. Now that I got one running again, I found a movie called Blood. IMDb says a werewolf marries Dracula's daughter. This movie is far more insane than that simple description. My wife doesn't like the daylight hours. Oh. Rather, I should say, daylight doesn't agree with her. I see. By sunlight doesn't agree with her, he means turns her into a fucking skeleton. Multiple people in this movie try to prove what is going on with our main characters, and their deaths are some of the most pathetic, ineffective deaths in the history of cinema. Johnny! <gasps> You didn't know, did you, that my father was Count Dracula? Normally, when making a horror film, if you need a nighttime scene, you have one of two options. Either you can spend a lot of money on lighting and film the scene at night, or you can just darken a daytime scene in a technique called Day for Night, where it looks like it's nighttime. This movie chose a secret option number C and to part way through the scene, wait six hours to film the rest of a sentence. Perhaps we better go. Have I said anything to upset you? No, you haven't. It's been a long time since I felt so relaxed and comfortable with another woman. That's the main reason why we must go. You mean my wife? Yes. What can I say to make you understand? I only wish I had been fortunate enough to have met you long before I married her. Please, don't say anymore. This is of course required because it turns out he forgot it was a full moon and he's about to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> So, what's the actual plot of this movie? Well, the werewolf is a scientist who was forced to marry the vampire in order to combine their families, and he is raising a plant whose enzymes he can extract in order to abate her vampiristic needs and keep her alive. The plant becomes more and more carnivorous until it relies completely on blood there is also a whole side plot about inheritance, but mostly Dracula's daughter believes that the werewolf will leave her abandoned and run off with one of his many girlfriends, so she enters mortal battle against him. We don't know who won the fight because the movie ends with a real estate agent telling us the fire turned out not to be that bad and he resells the house. You really like it? Oh, yes. Then we'll take it. Baron von Frankenstein. Really? Overall, the plot of this movie makes no sense. None of it makes sense, but mostly the plot of 
genetically engineering plants to cure vampires from their sunlight allergy? Don't know how that's supposed to work at all. The plants become carnivorous and try to eat people. All of the werewolf scientist assistants are sideshow freaks, kind of like in Mutations, the British Tom Baker movie I reviewed a while back. There's a dude with no legs. There's a wolf girl. The main uh, maid that the werewolf scientist is in love with has a messed up leg that they talk about for 10 minutes in this movie. None of it makes sense. The budget's in the hundreds of dollars. It's just a complete mess. But it is only 53 minutes long. Has a fight scene between a vampire and a werewolf in tons of insanity. So if you want to watch it with a group for fun and laugh at it, you can. If you want to watch it by yourself, there's Tons of other things you should be watching. Yeah, the cast in this one, almost nobody of note. Patricia Gall, who plays the maid love interest with the messed up leg, she acted up until a couple years ago, has like 40 roles. Almost everybody else has under four acting credits. In most of them, this is their only acting credit. This movie is directed by Andy Milligan, who has 30 directorial features. This is ranked 15th on IMDb. It's right in the middle. A lot of them are about sex or monsters or counterculture. There is even a Sweeney Todd movie in there. That's ranked his worst. He's also the writer, cinematographer, editor, and costume designer for this film. So, yeah, like I said, budget in the hundreds of dollars. Thank you for watching. I tried to make this review a little bit shorter. They've been getting out of hand. And as always, I shall try to do better next time. Here is a bonus clip of people talking about Carrie's leg. About 15 minutes of this movie is dedicated to her leg. Here's 45 seconds of it. We must lance it as soon as possible. It won't do any good. Oh, oh Christ! Don't touch it, it's contagious.